welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. All right, let's uh, get into today's show. We got a good one. Joe Cardina, Anthony Cartacci. Uh, this is a, a, a fight, which there's a little bit of money to be made on it. Before we get into it, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently bring down the house, make money betting on the sport of boxing. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. We make money every single week. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Join the Patreon. $5 a month gets the lock of the week. We're killing it. We hit the lock every single week. We make money every single week. It doesn't cost you money. $5 a month, you make way more than that. And $5 a month, you make way more than that uh, with the lock. So this is a money-making opportunity. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into today's fight. All right, let's get into today's fight. Joe Cordina, good fundamentally, nice jab, good rhythm fighter, pretty good athlete. You know, he's not next level, old worldly athlete, but he's pretty athletic. Uh, he's, he's good. He gets in a rhythm. When he gets in his rhythm, he's hard to take him out of it. You got to apply pressure on him. And Karchachi doesn't do that. You got to make his life uncomfortable. He will engage. He's got that heart. He will engage when that's not really. He likes to be at long range. He likes to be at distance. He likes to control that range. This is. It's, it's, it's an interesting style match because Karchachi is so long, but I don't really. Well, we'll get to Karchachi in a minute. Uh, he's, he's willing to engage in a war, which I don't think is his, always his best bet. I, I think by fighting the mid range, fighting the long range, selecting the shots. I think is, is ultimately what Cordina does best. It's why he's a world champion. He's not a huge hitter, but he has sufficient pop. Uh, he couldn't really hurt Eddie Vasquez, but he's got other fights, other knockouts, other wins at a high class level. Pretty decent speed. It's pretty speedy guy. Again, it's not blazing speed. It's not all world speed, uh, but it's a, it's a strength. It's, it's, you know, it's not a bug. It's a strength. He's easy to hit on the inside. This is why I don't like him on the inside. He's, he's very easy to hit. There's not a ton of head movement on the inside. His, his his movement is side. He works angles. He does a lot of things really well with his feet. But on the, on the inside, it's really not his forte. And he's stationary, stationary. Unfortunately for, fortunately for him, Karchachi is not a, a guy who is very effective or likes to fight on the inside. So I think either way, outside, inside, mid-range, Cordina is just going to outclass them. I, I think Cordina needs to throw more in combinations. He's far too many one punch at a time, you know, or two, you know, jab right. I'd like to see him throw more threes, four punch combinations, things like that. He gets cornered. He gets trapped. You know, which I said, again, ultimately, I don't think he wants to be on the inside of all of this fight. I don't think it's ultimately going to matter because the guy he's fighting, I don't want to say he's tailor made for him. I just don't really see any path to victory for Kochachi. As a counter puncher, I don't I don't love Cordina. I don't think I think he plays a lot of I go, you go. He doesn't really punch in between your punches. He kind of lets you throw and then he throws and then you'll throw. He likes to go first. And then, you know, after he throws his combination, he'll he'll show up and, and try to block shots. So, you know, a little bit more punching in between your punches. He's got a really good chin, too. Like, we saw this in the in the Vasquez fight and the Rockamba fight. Like he he can take, he's got really good whiskers again. I don't know how much that's going to play a factor in this fight because Kachachi mostly slaps his shots, doesn't really sit down and throw his shots. He kind of just wings them, throws arm punches. Uh, I'm not, as you can tell, we're four minutes into this video. I'm not a huge fan of Anthony Kachachi. Uh, he moves, he, he uses the whole ring. He's a lateral mover, back foot guy, does not commit to his punches. He doesn't fire his shots. He doesn't turn them over. He doesn't really sit down. He just kind of flings them. He's got seven knockouts. He hasn't gotten a knockout. <sighs> Since 2016, I, I looked it up against a guy who was two and 28, 228 and two, Jamie Quinn. Uh, that was his last knockout. His fights always, almost always go the distance. His one loss is to Martin Ward at 130. He's fought mostly at 130, but he's gone up in, in weight. Uh, he fought at 140 once, but mostly his entire career now, and he's 35. So he's going to be aging, too, as well. Has been fought at 130, so he's a lifer at the weight class. He got seven knockouts in his 21 wins. He's, he's not a guy that looks to hurt you. He's not a guy that literally looks to sit down. It's, it's all off the back foot. Uh, in, in the last fight he had uh, against 
I'm going to – Zuzinski, this is what I – on ESPN. The first round, he came forward, and he looked okay doing it. Like, he didn't look uncomfortable. He didn't look awkward doing it. He came forward in the first round. He fired off the right hand. He came forward, and it's like, okay. And then he just goes – he goes in the retreat, and it looks like, you know, I don't want to say he's an amateur style, but he's just looking to flurry real quick, throw a jab, flick a jab. He just basically flicks his jab. And then once in a while, he'll slap a right hand in. It's really – I don't think he's a world-class fighter. I don't see really how he has any chance in this fight. He's not a high-volume guy. He doesn't sit down. He doesn't have any power. He's pretty basic in his approach. He's got a quick little jab, but it's, it's, it's a flick. It's a flick. He can score with it. But if you can do anything other than that, he's not going to be able to win rounds with you. So he can't win rounds. He can't knock you out. He's just not at a world-class level. He's not ultra fast either. I think, actually, I think he's kind of slow and he kind of lunges in at times and he throws some sloppy shots. I'm just, I don't know how he built up this record. I don't think he's even, I think Joe Cordina, although I think Joe Cordina lost to Eddie Vasquez and Eddie Vasquez is a world class fighter. Like Eddie Vasquez would absolutely annihilate. He's probably Saka Chachi and, and, Cordina, and uh, Vasquez isn't a hitter. You know, and I, I think Vasquez beat Cordina. Cordina. I don't even think Chachi is close to Joe Cordina's level. Joe Cordina is a top five guy in the weight class. I don't, however you want to look at it, if you think Vasquez beat him, if you think he beat Vasquez, he's a top five guy in that weight class. Top guy in that weight class. So it's just, uh, I, I think, I don't want to say a tuna fight because, again, Kachachi's built up a pretty good record. He's fought on a high-level card and stuff. You look at his resume, there's really nothing ultimately impressive about it. He shows fatigue as well, and he's 35. So, I mean, he's not going to get faster, and his, his gas tank's not going to get fuller. So, I, I just see this as, as pretty much as a, as a one-sided domination. The only question becomes, does it go the distance, or does he stop him? And, and that really is oh, – I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Sorry about that. That really is the only question. Under 10 and a half is paying plus one. Nine. So we're taking Joe Cordina, and I'm going to feel comfortable making this a one times bet. A one times bet is going to make you 150. A one, one, a one and a half times bet. I'm sorry. One and a half times bet. One and a half times your normal bet makes you 26.08. Okay. Also, then over 10 and a half hundred dollar bet, it gives you a little better odds. We're going to make $37 on that. So we're making $65 on a $250 bet. So we're bringing it down from minus 650. If it, if it goes a distance, ultimately it does. I think Kachachi is going to survive. I think that's he's going to be his mo here is just to go the distance. I do think he'll be able to do that. Uh, so we're, we're going to be looking at one seventy six and thirty seven. So we're going to uh, be able to make a little bit of money on this thirty seven twenty six. Make about sixty five dollars on this bet on a, on a, on a two hundred fifty dollar bet. Not the best odds. Check for Joe Cordina as part of the. Uh, but it's over 10 and a half. Over 10 and a half is minus 270. We're taking that one times, and we're taking Joe Cardina on the money line one and a half times. So we're going to make a little bit of money on that. It's not terrible. Let me, check for Joe Cardina on the lock. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Get the lock of the week. Ask the bookie anything. Ask me a handicap a fight. I'll do all of it for you. There's a free T-shirt involved. There's a ton of perks. Let me know what you guys think. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Um also, join the other town, Texas Boxing Scene. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. It is May 14th, 2024. From Texas to the world. Thank you. Let me get rid of that. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.